How's it going guys? Today we're going to be making Satan's Toilet. I made this thing to help out with constipation and believe me it clears you right out. Really the only downside I can even think of of it is that uh, you die when you use it but I mean if you're not a baby about that sort of thing who cares. So for constipative relief this design really goes unchecked but something that I noticed that is pretty cool about it as a little side feature is that it can be used for blacksmithing purposes. Now sadly there's not much I can do with this super hot railroad spike right now but soon I'll be making an anvil too and I'll be able to really broaden my range of stuff that I can make and that is when you guys are gonna see the karambit and really any knife that I want to make and this thing is just completely full of features another awesome thing about it is its ability to fold up and store really anywhere that a regular folding chair can so I hope you guys enjoy the build it was actually really easy to do and really not expensive either all right, trust me guys, I know about the brake drum forge. This is just an alternative. This is a cast iron pan or skillet or whatever you want to call it. You can find something like this at a thrift store for maybe $3. You just have to make sure that it is thick, it's steel or iron, which steel is made out of, and just make sure it's not aluminum or tin. If you can't tell the difference between those metals just by the weight of it, bring a little magnet. If it sticks to it, it's steel or iron. If it doesn't, it's aluminum or tin. So I've got this uh, inch and a half floor flange. You can get this in the plumbing section at your hardware store. I lay it down in the back, get it as centered as I can, and then I'm going to mark out these holes. I put a little bit of oil on the dots to help the drill bit cut, and now I'm going to drill them out with a quarter inch drill bit. Now I'm going to put this back on and pop a rivet in each one of these holes. All right, now that is not going anywhere anytime soon. So now what I'm going to do is drill a whole bunch of holes through the pan into here. So basically we make a grate out of the bottom of the cast iron pan. I put a little hole in the side of this inch and a half pipe with a quarter inch drill bit so that my uh, step drill will have something to start with. I'm going to use this to put a one inch hole into the side of this inch and a half pipe. All right, now from a top view, I'm going to use a Sharpie to try to get a rough outline of this pipe onto this other pipe. And then I'm gonna do my best to cut this out with an angle grinder so that I can weld this onto this pipe right here. Now you don't have to do it this way with the welding. I'm doing it this way with the welding because I have a welder and I can save myself a little bit of money doing it this way. But if you don't have a welder, what you can do is just get one of those T fittings and basically just make this out of actual pipe fittings. But I'm just gonna do it this way. It's a little more work, but it'll save you some money. And quick side note guys, make sure you stick with the regular steel or black steel pipes. Do not get galvanized steel for this. You get really harmful, potentially deadly fumes coming off of it when you heat it up really hot. And when you grind into it with like the angle grinder or whatever, and you breathe in the dust, you get really sick. It's just not good material to work with. Stick with the regular stuff. Still not an exact fit, so I'm gonna do a little work with a hammer. So I got it fit on there pretty good. Sorry I can't show the welding on camera. I don't have the proper filters for the lens and it could damage the iris of the camera. So uh, just trust me, I'm, I'm welding it, okay? Not pretty, but I'm pretty sure it'll work. Now I have to prepare the chair to accept the pan. I'm just gonna trace around the whole thing with a Sharpie. Then I'm going to use my angle grinder to cut just on the inside of this line. Now 
Now I stuck some of these little L brackets into the handles and I'm gonna rivet them to the seat and then bend these ends over the handle. This bending method I think will be a really good semi-permanent method of attaching the pan to the chair uh, because if at any point you have to replace the pan, which I don't see in what situation you would need to, but it'll be as easy as just unbending them and pulling it out as opposed to if I were to try to weld it in there. So this way I can replace the pan super easy anytime I want and there's really no way that it'll pop out when I don't want it to. Now this is just about the simplest thing I can think of to make a little removable cap for this thing short of actually going out to the store and buying another one of the little caps for it. I'm just using some tin snips to cut out a little circle from the chunk that I cut out of the chair. Just take your little piece of something, jam it in there and that will make sure that all the air blowing in through here from the hair dryer will go straight out of the top into the pan with all the hot coals in there and not out of the bottom. And then when this part fills up with the little coal crumbs and the ash, you just pop that out, give it a few taps, and stick it back in. So yeah, this thing can really store anywhere a regular folding chair can, like for example on top of a disgusting floor under a dirty futon. I hope you guys enjoyed the build. If you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when the anvil gets built, please consider subscribing. And if anybody wants to go the extra mile, I am on Patreon. Do whatever you want. But that's all I got for today, so thank you guys very much for watching. I'll talk to you later. Bye.